tampons. Tampons. If you are new to tampons, or you just want a little enlightenment to some of the mysteries of tampons, we're gonna talk about that in this video. Little tips and tidbits of information that will make your tampon use just a little easier. Now, I don't want this video to be too serious, but wanna be respectful, cause jokes about menstruation are just not funny, period. If you are new here, my name is Diana. I'm a physician assistant and I specialize in women's health and gynecology. Welcome to my channel and if you are new here, we talk a lot about periods, but we also talk about pregnancy, birth control, babies, motherhood, and common women's health problems. And we have a ton of fun doing it, so hey, hit subscribe. Now, let's jump into the video. First off, your tampon is not going to get lost up there. I have people commenting on my tampon videos getting after me for saying this. You know, well, I have a friend who had to go to the doctor because their tampon got lost up there. It's not lost, it's stuck. <gasps> Nima, don't move, don't move. To say it's lost means like you don't know where it is. Look, if your cell phone slipped down between the seat of your car and you can see it, but it's hard to reach, your phone isn't lost. You know right where it is. It's just hard to reach. And that's the same thing that can happen with a tampon. It's not very common, but I have had a handful of patients that have come in because they put a tampon in, forgot, and then put a second tampon in, which kind of pushed the first tampon up and it got stuck at the fornix, which is the top of the vagina. So it was a little stuck, not lost. It's not like you put a tampon in your vagina and it winds up somewhere by your lungs. <coughs> like if you put it in your vagina, then that's literally the only place that it could be. Sometimes people will put a tampon in and then they take it out and then they forgot that they took it out. It happens. And then they think that their tampon is still in there, but actually it's in the toilet or in the garbage. So that's it. If you put a tampon in the vagina, it will either still be in the vagina or in the garbage or the sewer. It's not lost somewhere deep in the recesses of your abdominal cavity. That's impossible. Number two, the tampon string won't break. Okay, now so I want you to do something to put your mind at ease because I have a lot of comments about people being anxious about this. Go grab a tampon right now. Seriously, go get one. It's okay, I'll wait. Okay, you got it? Okay, good. I want you to unwrap your tampon and pull it out. And then I want you to try to tear the string off. I wanna see if you can do it. So try, and as hard as you can, try to pull that string off. Okay, so I couldn't pull it off. Could you? You can't, you can't pull the string off. The string is not going to break. As you can see, no matter how hard you pull, that string isn't going to break. And if you are pulling on the tampon, holding on with both of your hands, let's just assume even the strongest vaginas in the world can't hold on to a tampon as hard as your hand can. So it's not going to break. I hope that puts your mind at ease. So honestly, I think that the tampon making people need to be slapped for this one. I cannot believe that they didn't anticipate this as a problem. They have chosen to use L and S to help you know if it's a large or a small tampon. But instead of L standing for large and S standing for small, like any person in the right mind would understand it to be, L is for light and S is for super. So if you are at the store and you are just looking for a small tampon because you are either new to tampons or you have a really light flow, get the box that says L for light. Don't get the one that says S. S does not stand for small, it stands for super. I actually get a little mad when I think about it. How did they not anticipate that this would be a little confusing? Okay, so keeping on with the tampon. If you ride a bike and you have a tampon in, tuck the string up inside your vagina. Now, I'm a mountain biker and it took me years to realize this, but when you're sitting on a bike seat and there's a tampon string somewhere around your vulva, the bike seat actually puts pressure on it and it can cause the string to chafe your vulva. I mean, it's not terrible, but it was definitely uncomfortable. And once I figured this little trick out, it solved that problem. Next tip. Look, I know some tampons say they are flushable. Don't flush them. I was really resistant to this one for a long time. 
but I've had to use enough plungers after putting a tampon down the toilet to just learn that they are better off in the garbage. And pro tip, once you take it out, wrap it up in toilet paper before throwing it away. It helps to keep down the smell. Finally, if you're looking for tips to how to put a tampon in, I've actually done three videos all about them, each different, but filled with great information step-by-step -step on how to do it. I'll put a card right here. Go ahead and check that out. But hey, again, if you are new to Diane in the Pink, make sure to hit subscribe and make sure to hit the notification bell to be notified of when my future videos come out so you don't miss any uploads. But if you do want a video on how to put a tampon in step-by-step, step, I'm going to put a link to that video right here. Click on that and I will see you over there.